Tonight, Jewish people around the world are sitting down for night two of Passover. The holiday celebrates the Jewish transition from slavery to freedom in ancient Egypt. Natalie Basha introduces us to a local organization that's shining a spotlight on local Holocaust survivors. As Jews around the world mark the Passover holiday at a Dat Shalom temple in West LA, hundreds of bags are being assembled with kosher food donations for Holocaust survivors, set up by the organization Jewish Family Services. Bags are stuffed with matzah, eggs, kosher meats, flowers, and more. Mother and son duo Heather and Parker Lake are volunteer drivers that are delivering the bags to eight recipients in time for Passover Seder. You know, in light of uh, multiple different world events, I feel like some of these people are being re-traumatized and they may be uh, an aging generation, but they're still around. JFS LA has a thousand Holocaust survivors that are clients and we have a waiting list. For Parker, serving Holocaust survivors is the most meaningful part of this event. You know, very few have suffered worse than the survivors, as she mentioned, so it's good to help and give back to them when we can. Their first stop of the day is to Maria Ross's house. You want to come inside? Yes. A 93 year old Holocaust survivor from what is today Moldova. But we also have flowers for oh, you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Sent at 10 years old to a forced labor camp in Siberia during World War II. We went to family with about 10, 12 people, and only three of us came back. The rest passed away. My brother passed away, my uncles, my aunts. I'm very sad that it's getting scary now to be Jewish. But Maria says that despite once again feeling scared to be a Jewish person, she's grateful for the support. It means a lot to me. I appreciate very much the help. I appreciate the, the attention that I get from Jewish family service. Heather and Parker are so moved by this experience, they vow to volunteer year after year. I mean, any opportunity I have, I'm, I will be here, hands down. Like, I just... You heard how grateful she is for making sure the remaining Holocaust survivors in our city are never forgotten.